Okay, it's toward the end of Easter week, and uh, I've been spending some time this week reading about the resurrection appearances of Jesus, and I got really interested in one of them in particular. It's at the end of Luke, in chapter 24, where Jesus comes to his disciples unexpectedly, and they are really startled and afraid, and they don't know what to make of it. They think they're seeing a ghost. So Jesus says, okay, look, you guys, you know, I'm not a ghost. You can see my hands and feet. You can touch me, actually. Uh, ghosts don't have flesh and bones the way I do. But they still didn't believe him. So finally he says, all right, look, do you have something to eat? And it turned out, yeah, they did. They had a piece of broiled fish, which they gave to him, and he ate it. And we're not actually told if that settled them down or not, specifically, but because that's the end of the incident, we get that impression that, okay, that's what calmed them down and convinced them, yeah, Jesus really was alive, he really was with them. Well, how does that speak to our situation right now? I, I think of a couple points of application. One is, I think, maybe this week we're kind of struggling with how to make sense of Easter too. Did it really happen or did it not? It certainly wasn't our usual Easter celebration and maybe we're a little bit uncertain about that sort of thing. Also, at Easter time, the main focus is Jesus bursting out of the grave and being free and alive again. Well, I was talking to somebody this week who said, you know, Pastor, I'm really having a hard time because I feel like I've been locked up this week. I feel like I'm living in prison in this lockdown situation, just in the confines of my own little suite in this apartment building. Well, if we can relate to that sort of feeling, maybe this other point of application will help us too. Um, just thinking about what Jesus did to address that situation. He came and had a very ordinary meal with those disciples of his. It wasn't Holy Communion that he shared, it was a piece of broiled fish. And for those disciples, I think that was even a sort of comfort food because they had spent most of their lives up north around the Sea of Galilee fishing and eating exactly that kind of food. So I wonder, can we think about Jesus coming to us in our places right now and sharing an ordinary meal with us too? We pray in the Lord's Prayer, give us this day our daily bread, ordinary bread, ordinary food. And many of us, before we share a meal in our homes, will pray, Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest. Let these gifts to us be blessed. Maybe if our homes are a little emptier right now, maybe we don't have all the groceries we're used to, maybe there are fewer people in our home. We're certainly not having guests over these days, right? Maybe if things feel a little bit odd for us in those ways too, maybe we can be purposeful and conscious of Jesus coming and sharing a meal with us. He wants to comfort us and bring us hope and bring us the confidence of his presence. There's a hopeful thought this Easter week.